Well, after the weather, everything's finally dried up enough up here that we can get concrete. Today and tomorrow are really good, and then we're supposed to have weather after that. So I called to see if we can get concrete tomorrow, and they're booked. <laughs> so we're gonna shoot for the end of the week to get concrete, and hope that the weather that we get on Wednesday isn't so bad and that everything's dried up from that by Friday enough that the truck can get up here. We're gonna pour this <coughs> front porch apron, the spot footers, and then across the front from this apron, across the front edge of the barn, the front approach apron. We're gonna pour all, all of that in one pour. We're hoping Friday. Um, I was gunning this morning trying to get ready for concrete for tomorrow. Remembered last night that I've got conduit that needs to come into this building for our solar panels that are off the hill, our well pump wire that needs to come up into here, and then our conduit to go up to the goat shelter up on the hill to bring the power from those solar panels down. And that'll be awful hard to get all those conduits into this corner of the building once I have concrete in place. So I ran in this morning, got a bunch of conduit. So I'm going to work on that this afternoon, trying to get it in place under the slab. At least get it stubbed in here and up into the walls. And then I'm going to start prepping this pad, getting it built up the last little bit and filled in. And then tomorrow we'll start setting forms and try to make sure it's all ready to go and do a few other things probably. So here we go. The conduit to the goat shelter needs to come across the back of the barn over here and make its way to that fence line before going up the hill and through the corral to get in there. So while I've got the excavator right here, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this space out at least initially so that when I go to put the conduit in, I don't have a problem with it being too shallow.
We had started doing the construction here and when we had ordered our trusses, they were supposed to be 12 to 14 weeks out. So our thinking was let's get the materials to start the main walls and frame the lean-tos. We could frame the building, the room inside, and have everything ready to go while we're waiting on trusses to show up. And then in the middle of that time frame, after we got materials up here, we needed to take some time to take care of the farm and the garden stuff. And some of those things took a little longer in our timeline. And then I got a call today and our trusses are being delivered this afternoon, which is great that they're early, but they're early. <laughs> so now I've got to shift my focus back to making sure that the beams are ready and we're ready to set trusses. So. I've got a lift coming next week so that we can start setting the trusses next week and we're going to just go like crazy on everything else for now. Sometimes we have to shift our game plan a little bit depending on how those variables come into play. So. Well, we got trusses on the ground. <clears throat> Pretty exciting. I had to take a break for a minute to go get Logan from the bus stop, so I thought I'd take advantage of his presence to help me pick up this ripper tooth that I left over at Heath and Cedars at Red Poppy Ranch from when I was helping them with their driveway and parking pad over there. never really used this ripper tooth to dig a trench before but I knew I didn't need it to be terribly deep and I especially didn't want it very wide so I thought it might be the perfect opportunity to try it out with this conduit.
with that all glued up and bedded down, it's time to go ahead and bury it. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride. Right. First at least is the spot. to come back in later probably next spring and dig along the bottom of this slough and set some boulders for retainer so I'm trying to make sure that I've got this set back far enough that it'll dive down and be under where the boulders are going that way I don't have to worry about hitting the conduit when I go to set the boulders i can dig them back and and dig the hill back a little bit and set them right in place and have them where i want and the conduit can go down through and across the road before it before it has to worry about the boulder line I'm just trying to get it across the road so we can get things settled over the winter get the road back i can get it packed in and let it settle in the trench a little bit as you can tell I'm quickly running out of daylight to get this done. My goal is to try to get this all put together tonight so that I can get it buried up. Tomorrow my father is coming up to give me a hand for a while and I don't want to take time out while he's here helping me to do this trench work that's just a one man job. So I would really want it done tonight. I'm bedding up this conduit real good with clean material and it's buried about 18 inches down from the road surface. 
to prevent any damage with the heavy traffic over the top. Okay, well, I'm short about a 10 foot, 12 foot piece of that to get out the hill. But I've got to be able to get concrete truck past here. So I've got no other option. I'm just going to have to bury it. I've got these chunks of two by six across the top of this so that when I do go to dig it again, I'll hit that, not hit the, not hit the conduit. And then I can extend on. I've got this chunk sticking straight up right at the end and I'll bury everything back. And then once I've got the ground level back, I'll cut that off straight at the ground. But then it's not hard to find that board and know that that's where the end is. And then I can dig across and pull that out of the way. That way then when I need to dig this last little bit and get the pipe back out there, finish I can do that and it won't be a big deal so